I kind of wanted to see if you can give some tips, some pro tips to organizers. Since you've yeah. been, how, how many years now have you been doing Sydney? It'll be 16 years. 16 years. Yeah. So what, what tips do you have for people who are organizing festivals or who want to start a festival? You know, I think when people first start festivals, they think, I'm going to get the most popular. Um, and then I'm going to sell the most tickets. 16, 17 years on. The people who have the most impact are the ones that are going to dance with everyone. You can have an amazing show, but if that doesn't translate to the way that you treat people socially, these people are not going to want you back. Mm. Um, you can have a plain show, but if the people who are paying to be there get to dance with you, get to talk to you, enjoy your workshops, they're more prone to come back and want you there over the amazing shows that have no interaction. Um, and that's how we try to choose our artists. Um, for the last few years, you know, we always look for up-and-coming artists because we know they're going to put that extra effort in to dance with everybody. Um, and, you know, in Australia, we're so far away from everyone. I'm guessing, like, if, if you're in Europe or even here in the U.S. where you're saturated with amazing dancers, maybe that's not as important, but from where we are, 100%. It's good.